Innocent mistake ends in a vicious attack on a local honor student. Police say as many as 11 students beat up the eighth grader, leaving him severely injured, and he may even lose his sight. CBS 2's Christine Sloan spoke with some of his friends about what led to this violence. The attack near this school soccer field was so violent that 13-year-old David Monetone needed reconstructive surgery to his face to correct several broken bones. His friends at the Janice Dismas Middle School in Inglewood are stunned. Yeah, it's so hard because we're, I'm his best friend and... <laughs> Police have arrested seven students from both the middle school and high school, charging them with aggravated assault. The youngest one is just 12 years old. Investigators say the teenagers jumped Monotone on Friday as he walked home from school to get back at him for an earlier incident during which the eighth grader accidentally hit a girl with a basketball. The superintendent says the girl, who has also been charged, led the boys to Monotone, saying, quote, he's the one. Uh, we do know that after the girl made the comment that a, one of the people or the boys that was with him uh, immediately punched him. A number of students here at the middle school have been making a card for the 13-year-old. All of them outraged with what happened. He says, get well, David. He really didn't deserve to get beat up like that because he really didn't do anything and it wasn't intentional that he hit her with the ball. If I was there, I would have definitely tried like, to tell somebody. I wrote, I hope he gets better soon. Monotone is recovering at Inglewood Hospital. His brother tells me his condition is improving. The assistant principal says the youngster is a model student. He's a wonderful uh, young man. Actually, he's uh, one of our students that made the honor roll on the first quarter. As these kids try to make sense of what happened, all seven students arrested have been suspended. This as police look to charge four more teenagers. In Inglewood, Christine Sloan. CBS 2 News. Three of the students charged remain at the juvenile detention center in Paramus while the rest have been released to their parents. Two of them are required to wear ankle bracelets.